Hello to all you people out there looking at the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Let me show you 2011's greatest and latest innovative design in the Jeep Grand Cherokee. What you're looking at is the 2011 Grand Cherokee's engine. What, you're, what we have is not one but two options, the 5.7 liter V8 or the 3.6 liter V6, which is actually a Pentastar engine and Chrysler will start using across the line for our most Chrysler vehicles. As you know, the 5.7 liter we use in a lot of vehicles today. With these two, via, uh, two engines, you're actually looking at a 296 horsepower, two, uh, about 250 foot-pounds of torque out of a V6, or you're looking at a 350 horsepower and about 390 foot-pounds of torque out of the 5.7 liter V8. What does this mean to you, the customer? It means you can put the whole family in it in this fine vehicle and the groceries and still be able to go to speed you choose. It also means you have a towing capability of up to 7,400 pounds when properly equipped. But that's not all we're looking for in a Jeep. A Jeep has a lot of things that it is required to have. Jeep being having been around for 69 years at this point has come to be, has a lot of expectations for its vehicles. One of which is the seven slotted grille right up front here to kind of show you that it's been on not one but seven different continents and has been represented well. With the Jeep Grand Cherokee, they redesigned it from the ground up, giving this very nice, very sleek, but yet very semi-aggressive look that will actually help in the aerodynamics and give you just a tad bit better gas mileage. If you come around with me this way, you'll see that the Grand Cherokee is not only a luxurious, a luxurious looking vehicle, but it also is luxurious on the inside. Just to name a few of the quick features that are actually coming out, you're actually starting to see, you're starting to see steering wheel controls on the inside as well as available navigation in a Garmin style as well as adaptive cruise control, obstacle avoidance and you're also going to see really standard features such as the electronic eight-way seat and a really nice setup that gives it a beautiful look on the inside as well as the outside with the Burleson wood. Now if that wasn't enough for you, a Jeep is still a Jeep and it needs to do certain things. And what does a Jeep need to do? It needs to four wheel drive. That's right, Jeep comes with not one but two different four wheel drive systems. The Quadratrack one being one of the first systems is also an all time four wheel drive so that it is just hands free and activates when it's needed. Or you can go for the Quadratrack 2 which is uh, uh, selecting you being able to select the four wheel drive system and being able to control it more with that way. Also, you do have a, a setup where you can actually use the four-wheel drive system in either sand or gravel or snow or ice. You can choose how you want that four-wheel drive system to react. That way it's adjustable to your situation. Later on in 2011, we'll also get a height right adjustment to not only make it sporty when you're traveling on the road, but also to help you out in inclement weather. But the four-wheel drive system isn't all this is capable of. With the safety of four-wheel disc brakes and anti-lock brake system, you're also looking at side curtain airbags as a standard and driver and passenger side uh, multi-stage airbags also on the front of the vehicle. Now, if you're looking to use this vehicle, we've got to sit three more people in the back and it all comes with shoulder harnesses, making it still yet in a safe vehicle. But that's not all, folks. What you're actually looking at is a vehicle where you can actually drop these seats and turn it into complete cargo space all the way into the back. That's right, more cargo space than the Grand Cherokee has had in previous models. You're looking at plenty of room to put everything from groceries to Christmas presents and still be able to do everything you need. Now, with all of that fun stuff that goes with it, the Grand Cherokee does have a lot of the great options and comes in not one but three different trims. The Laredo, the Limited, and the Overland. And you can also get it in just about any color you'd like that you're used to seeing in a Jeep.